I might add some, I, I think that maybe thinking about formats, different formats, could be could be a good thing. One, one of the most successful things I saw ever was in Amsterdam, a place called De Bali, which is a kind of a theater combined with a cafe, combined with what, where they, where they, all these, all these sessions, where they invite speakers to come, and then they chose, they, they choose a format, say, beauty parlor. So the, the format is a beauty parlor. And in, in this case, they invited women from all ethnic groups in Amsterdam to come and have their nails done. <laughs> While they had their nails done, they should tell about their everyday life. And they would record this, these tales. Then some of them would make that into a little theater play. Then the next session, they would invite Dutch women to come and have their nails done. And the price for that was that they would sit and listen to the stories of these women. That's a brilliant format. Another format was the club format. So they bring in discussion partners, in that case, in, on very high level on European politics or whatever uh, issue that could be. But they bring in some discussion partners and they make it a club event. So you are served drinks and there's a dance going on and so on. You have the panel discussion and then there's dance afterwards and you are having basically a good time. So that's another format. So thinking about these physical formats and combining them with discussions, with content, with cultural <coughs> activities can really, really be useful in a space like that.